In this video, we're going to do a breakdown of this MPV V cargo. There we go. Uh, from Star Citizen. There's a few cool little things here. Now, this ship is like eight years old. We have to remember that because Star Citizen's been around for 10 and the rest. So I was actually going to go buy the ship for this video, but... Um, mm, so the ship design itself is very basic, I guess, but it still looks so nice. Now, there's meant to be two landing gears that come out through here, and that's what supports the weight of the ship. It would have been awesome to have that. However, it's not there, which kind of sucks. The outside, we still see all those current decals. Now, I'm thinking because this ship is like eight years old, some of the decals aren't working correctly anymore, but we can still see the outline. And if we specifically have a look at these ones, Control L, as from the previous videos, we can see that it is on kind of like those panel lines. So what it is, is just adding mesh to it. We're not chopping up the mesh, which, oh my goodness. I absolutely love this concept and I am taking this more and more on board. You can see though, I have actually chopped up the mesh here purely for the fact is, is that this is such a small model for these bigger panels. Yes, chop it up, but probably when we come in here and start applying the decals all onto this internal section, that will, yeah, look a lot better. This seat here, I don't like. It's going to change. Just a bit of a placeholder. Chillax. Now, on this ship specifically, it looks like there's only two decal sets. If we have a look at this one here, which more looks like all the hard surface stuff, so on and so forth. But then we got the secondary decal set of this, which is absolutely awesome. I know that one of my viewers, Mr. Spooky, he's creating an awesome decal set that I might have to use. Just quickly though, if there is a ship that you think I should be reviewing, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll look into buying it. No, 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 <laughs> definitely not. Holy crud, did I pay that much for mine? Now there's two main little features that I'll kind of want to show off. One of them is this cargo netting, which looks awesome. It is just a texture. That's all it is. There's no mesh on that one. So if we come into here, we can see this is what the texture looks like. Let's kind of zoom in on it. It's just a flat plane. Amazing. I really do wish I could see this within the game though. Uh, however, we know that, you know, lighting would be pretty good. The outer cage here is all a single mesh. Nice. And then we've got these kind of like clamps over here on the left hand side. This is a full mesh. So the width of it. So if I come over here and select the side, you can see how they've just UV unwrapped it like that. Once again, internally, all three here, if we select this, Control L, we can see that is not a decal, that's a mesh. So it's half mesh, which makes sense. So kind of like this edge around here, easy. And then we've got some extra uh, greebly bits, I guess. That's just decals. All these little triangles here, I've started putting them on. And we can just see how just adding in those little details kind of just fills out the scene and makes it more livable. Now we have covered quite a few ships already. So go check out those previous videos. I might link them down below. Um, but the cockpits are something that always I find interesting. Uh, mainly because of the fact that it's more the simplistic nature of them. Mm, went too far. And we can see that there, is, there isn't much to this. So if we kind of just uh, sit ourselves in. All that we're going to have here will be our HUD, our consoles, all our buttons up here out of the way. Controller, done. That's all we're looking at. Something very simple. A little bit of stuff over here on the right. Obviously, proper hard surface. And this is one thing I can't get over. I absolutely love this. Oh, jeez. Is the way they've done stitching. It's nothing in the texture. Now it's going to make me a liar, aren't you? Yep. It is just a decal path. And that is the stitching for the seat. Genius. I would be interested to know how it goes with clothes. I think with clothes, you might have to do um, two UV maps on the single mesh and then kind of like add those two materials and then, you know, bake it down. But for a hard surface like this, this works absolutely great. We can see just more decals kind of like indented into the seat. These cylinder things, oh my goodness. Oh, this is interesting. So the way they've done the light is obviously here. This is a texture. Oh, let's bring that back up. This one here is a texture. So if we have a look at that, does have an emissive aspect to it, but obviously we've got lights in front of it. And these are the lights that would shine out 
onto the environment, for instance. So if we were to grab that, I reckon if we've got um, Spotlight, rotate that one around. Um, let's grab this one as well. Change that one to Spotlight. Rotate XX90. 500, for instance. 500, for instance. I've got a feeling I've selected the wrong lights. What the heck is this? But then to have, yeah, these illuminated. So let's just increase that. Oh my goodness. Those lights are a little bit too bright now, but we kind of get that idea of um, a light bulb being behind the mesh. Oh, far out, so good. Just the simplicity of the shape as well, because if we can hide all that, and then we've got kind of like this empty space where the cargo is. Oh my goodness, it's so clever. Um, one thing I did want to point out is that if we, and it's actually on a lot of these ships, if we hide these, we can see that we've kind of got this alpha texture sitting on the inside of the mesh. That there is for obviously when the car, the cars, when the ships are starting to break apart, this is kind of like the damage section, which is quite clever. I do like how they've done that. And then that's what will split up. And if we kind of have a look at the other one, areas as well same thing all these hidden meshes except for the cockpit because normally you're flying like this but i like it i might have to steal the design a little bit oh, this chair is great uh let's have a look at the mesh in the chair very simple indeed i think it's something we can pull off yeah i'm gonna pull that gosh damn 